Welcome to Short Circuits. In the last video, I showed you how to get started with RPyPico and program it using the shell. When we write code in shell, the microcontroller executes the code as long as our board is connected to the COM port. If we have to retain the code in our microcontroller, we have to save it with name main.py. I will show you how to do that further in this video. For now, let's write a code to take input from push button and turn on and off LED connected to the output pin. So this is the circuit diagram. This is the pin diagram of RPI Pico. We are going to connect switch to GPIO 16 and we'll press the switch 3.3 volts be fed to GPIO 16 which will turn on the LED and the LED is connected through a series resistor of 300 ohms. You can take any value between 300 to 1K and this LED will light up when you press the switch and hit the switch again this LED will turn off so now let's write a code for this so we have opened Thorny IDE we are going to create new file we are going to save this file to our RPIPICO with name t flip flop dot py tff dot py Now let's write code from machine import pin. I'm also going to import time to provide delay. Now we are going to assign the output pin. Our LED is connected to output pin. What is the pin number? Pin number is 16, 15, 15, pin dot out. So I've assigned the output pin and our switch is connected to the input pin 16 so I'm going to write pin 16 comma pin so this is the input pin so I'm going to write dot in also one more thing I'm going to write here is I'm going to turn on the internal pull down resistor so I'm going to write pin dot pull underscore down pull down in capital and now I'm going to enter the loop while true so this if condition will check whether our switch is pressed or not switch dot value so if the switch dot value is available then LED dot toggle it will toggle the LED on on one press and off on other press so now we have to give a delay otherwise it will toggle at very high frequency time dot sleep we are going to give a delay of 0 0.2 that means 20 milliseconds now code is done now let's see let's run it and see whether we are getting any errors or not. no we are not getting any errors and it's running on the board right now so the microcontroller is running our code if i press the switch the led will turn on if i press the switch again it will turn off we have given a delay of 0 0.2 seconds so if i will press the switch for greater than 0 0.2 seconds the output will oscillate that's because this is a level triggered not edge triggered so right now the code is saved inside the flash memory of this RPI Pico so I'll disconnect it and again connect so the code is wiped 
it's no longer there because I have saved the file with name tflipflop.py. In order to retain the code, I have to save it with name main.py. Now we are going to write another code and we are going to learn about ADC. We are going to interface a light sensor LDR with the ADC pin on this board. It's a 12 bit ADC, so let's explore the ADC. So RPI Pico has got three ADC pins pin 28 for ADC2, pin 27 for ADC1, and pin 26 for ADC0. So I'm going to use pin 28. I'm going to connect one LDR between ground and pin 28 and one resistor of 47k between VCC which is 3.3 volts and our pin 28 which is our ADC pin so this resistor is of 47k when light intensity falling on this LDR will reduce its resistance will increase which will indirectly increase the voltage at this point this is called a voltage divider network so now let's write code for this circuit. I have opened Thorny IDE. I am going to create new file and save it as save it to RPI Pico and I will save it with name LDR.py. So as you can see I have already tflipflop.py saved in RPI Pico. Now I am going to save another file LDR.py. Let's start writing the code from machine. import pin comma ADC so we are using ADC pin so we are going to import ADC also we are going to import time to provide delay import time and now we are going to assign name to our ADC pin Now the next statement we will write in loop because we want the ADC to continuously read analog voltage. We will write this statement in print because we want the value which is getting read to get printed on the shell. So we will write here LDR dot read underscore U16. And now we'll give a delay time dot sleep delay of zero point one zero point one seconds and we will run this code and the code is running now you can see the value eight thousand two hundred is getting printed on the shell. So I will cover the LDR with my hand, I will go on covering it and you can see the value is starting to rise, the value is rising and it will rise all the way to 65,535. So our ADC is responding to changes in the light intensity. So there's one more feature which is called plotter in this IDE. I'm going to right click on the shell and I'm going to click on show, show plotter. And as I go on covering you can see it rises, falls and rises. I can create a wave pattern like this. So now let's write a code such that when the value increases about 20,000 onboard LED will light up. So I'm going to assign onboard LED as output pin. So LED is equal to pin LED is equal to pin 25 comma pin dot out. And now I'm going to write if statement if If this LDR dot read value, we'll copy this and paste it here. 
if it's greater than 20,000 then LED dot on else LED dot off so now let's run this code and see whether the LED lights up and yes the LED lights up and now I'm going to show you how to save it so I want this program to run even when I disconnect I will save as save to rpypico as main dot py and I will hit ok so this program is now saved as main dot py in rpypico so it will run on external power source even if we disconnect it and connect it again the first code that will run on this rpypico will be the code saved as main.py so the code is now running if i cover this ldr the led lights up 